Now, one of the most powerful features in Facebook ads is that you can do retargeting against all the people who had been to your website or took a certain engagement or action, but they had not made the next action, which is usually making the purchase. And sometimes people get busy for some reason, or it's just not convenient for them to make the purchase right now. They could be seeing your ad while they're driving, or they've been to your sales page, but they've not decided yet. And then you have the ad follow them for quite some time, even all the way up to 180 days. Yep, Facebook advertising allows you to do that. However, personally, I don't use up all 180 days because the way I work is that if someone doesn't take action at all after like seven or even up to 30 days, I'm not going to spend my money following that kind of lead anymore because they're just not interested to take action even after a whole month. So even though retargeting can be done for dirt cheap even today, but you don't want to be spending your money reaching out to people who are not interested because that hurts your relevant score and I'd rather you use that money to reach out to people who might be interested. Okay, so one of the first steps when it comes to doing Facebook retargeting is that you need to create an audience or what I call a custom audience. So to do that, this is going to be the first step of out of like two steps and we're going to do just one video step by step on this one right now. So to get to a page like this, you need to go to, you can just search in the bar at the top right here, uh, audiences and then you'll arrive at a page like this or you can just go to the top left menu, go to all tools and look for audiences under assets. Okay, assets, audiences, and then you arrive at a page like this. Again, this account has been around for some time for this particular ad account. If your account is new, then you're not gonna see anything at all. And for beginners, the amount of data might seem intimidating, but don't worry about it. It is actually very easy once you look through all that and get some practice, okay? So this will also lead up to things like creating a look-alike audience, which I'll explain that in another video. Uh, that's another really cool stuff there. And let's talk about the basics first, okay? How to create a custom audience with the intention of doing retargeting. So the most basic retargeting you can do right now is to create a type of audience where people have been to a certain specific web page, but they didn't make a purchase or take the next action that you want them to do. It could be buying a product or it could be booking a call with you. So at the top left, you see this thing called create audience and then click on custom audience. All right. So you're prompt with a few questions here. Now, personally, I don't even use all of them. I probably just use like three out of five out of this. I use customer file, website traffic and engagement, but I don't really use this two at all. Not related to me. Okay. So I think this is going to be the same case for you as well if you are an information or, or digital marketer. Now what we're going to do here is that we're going to create a very simple custom audience of people who have been to a certain web page but they didn't make any purchase whatsoever. Okay, so let's click on this one. Now, at this point you should have already created your pixel. This is already taught in one of the very early uh, weeks modules. and. You should be seeing a, a, a pixel for you to choose from. So I have like three here for this particular account. Normally you have like one at least. So include people who meet any of the following criteria. You select the pixel that you want. So I choose the one that I want. And it's better to have people who visit specific web pages. Now there are a few types over here, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. It might be a little bit too advanced from beginners. So let's talk about something simple for now. People who visit specific web pages in the past and number of days, it can be up to a maximum of 180 days. Okay, so let's just put 30 days for sake of example. If you want, you can put like seven days, 14 days, totally up to you. So let's put 30 days right now. And you want them to have been to a certain website, but they didn't make any purchase. So this is going to be an example. All right, I'm just making this up right now. So if you, if you want to make a certain type of people who have been to a few types of web pages, that's okay as well. You can put in more than one address. So just for the fun of it, I'm going to put in these addresses here. Okay. All right. So let's just say people have been to any of these three web pages but they didn't take a specific action and let's just say this is going to be a uh, 
a purchase, all right? So they are supposed to get to a thank you page, but they have not been here. So I'm just making this up right now. All right, now this address doesn't exist, obviously, but I'm just doing it for an example here. So what I just did here is that you have people who have been to this specific web pages, but when I click exclude, all right, pe excluding people who have been to this page, that means to say that people who have bought this product or been to this download page, that's how you know they bought a product or, or they made a sign up, they will stop seeing the ad that you're about to show them. So this is how you do very targeted retargeting. So you don't want to be showing ads to people who have already bought your product. You preferably you want to show them something else. And this is what allows you to fine tune and laser target your Facebook advertising. Okay. So this is very simple. I'm not going to do too much. Here. That's how easy it is. Okay. And once you get better, then you can start exploring the other features and options, which I'll talk more in the advanced retargeting method only when you're ready. So let's just give this audience a name. Now, personally, I'm a neat freak, so I like to give it a proper name. So I call it Visitors um, FBX Local Test, all right? Because to be frank, I already created a very similar custom audience for this actual campaign. Uh, although some of these pages are fictional right now, that's okay. Just want to prove a point to you. Okay, you can give it a name for it, Visitors at this um, project or, or the name of the website and a description now the description is only for you to see so don't worry about it but as you start creating more custom audience it might get a little bit more overwhelming so it's better to just be organized right from the start so I'm just going to put visitors that had been to Facebook ads local but did not uh, purchase all right so you can see how easy that is click create audience and there you go it's done that's how easy it is now i'm going to show you another type of custom audience you can create now there are a few types you can create here okay that was the most basic one and you can see that this is being populated you can leave it alone when you come back in like a few minutes or maybe some time afterwards it'll be ready okay now i'm going to show you another type of custom audience you can create now have you ever wondered why people are able to retarget you after you watch a certain video at a certain length or a certain amount of time this is how you do it so if you're using videos as uh, content marketing you have videos that you show on your Facebook page and people are watching you know there's a very good bet that people who are watching your videos at least halfway through are at least interested in what you have to offer or in your message so what you do is that you can target the audience based on how long they've been engaged with your content on Facebook so what we do is very simple. Let's go to create uh, engagement. And you can see that there are a few types here. Again, I don't use all of this. You only need to use a few of them. And let's just go with video. Okay. You can choose any type of engagement. People have watched 25% uh, all the way to 95%. Then what some hardcore marketers do is that they actually select all of this so they can retarget with uh, either different ads or track their behavior. So for simplicity, say I'm just going to start with 50% of the video. And you need to choose any of the videos you had added so far. All right, you can choose more than one. Uh, that's okay. For this example, I'm going to just choose uh, one video, right? Just for an example. All right, I'm just going to choose this for example, okay? So in the past 365 days, now you don't really have to make it that long. Uh, probably in the past 30 days, that's good enough. But I'll leave the length up to you, all right? So audience name, let's give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, video, video views, uh, name of the video. All right. Low ticket SPS. That's the name of the video. All right. So I'm going to really like to write it more precise. People that watched 50% of this video. Okay. And click create audience. So in the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually weave in all this custom audience based on their behavior. So what we're doing here right now is quite simply, we're just uh, having Facebook track all the, the behaviors and all that, okay? Now let me show you yet another kind of custom audience you can create for the fun of it. Engagement. And do you know that people who have interacted with your Facebook page or your Instagram account, if it's attached to this, you can even target them as well. So you might have come across some ads so far by some marketers who, who went along the lines of, thanks for checking out my Facebook page or my Instagram account. And uh, I have this free offer i like to share with you as a new visitor of mine. You might have come across that kind of ad before if you have been observant. So 
what you can do is that you can go to Facebook page, all right, include people who have meet the criteria, list your page that and people who have engaged or visited your page in the last uh, n number of days. So I like the word this engagement because you know people have just visited a page, they might or might not be interested, they're just curious but not interested or even let alone committed. So I, I prefer engage somehow. That means we know that they have interacted by you know liking, commenting, or even write write to you. So you know that these people are at least interested. Okay. Or people who are engaged with any post or ad. This is really cool as well. So you can see that people have like make reactions, shares, comments on any of your posts. You know that these people are interested. And sometimes they don't even have to like your page somehow. But the fact that they're there, you can actually retarget those kind of people. Okay, so you can see that there are a few types here going on. I'm just going to put this as uh, 30 days. All right. You can put a max of how many you want. That's totally fine. Okay. So I'm going to just call it FB page uh, admin low uh, post engagement. Okay. People who have interacted with any of my posts, I'll, I'll like to target them, right? People that engaged with my FB post. All right, we can click create audience. And yeah, we have another one here. You can create as many types of audience as you want and target them. Now let's just create one more for completion sake. Uh, create audience, custom audience, let's go to engagement. And you can do the same for your Instagram business as well if you have a profile attached to it. So I have one here going on. Uh, people have engaged with your business. That means it could be with the content or ads. People have visited as well. Um, although this is very shallow because just because people have been to your, your page doesn't mean they're necessarily interested at all, like I said earlier. So I prefer engagement and I want to target people that are interested at least, okay? 30 days, I'm just going to put IG admin low, or this is my handle here. Uh, people that engaged with my IG profile, okay? That's how easy it is. So we've created a bunch of custom audience here, and as you can see, I've created a bunch more before this. That's okay, and uh, all these are all of their examples, but these are for real. Okay, now you can do the same for yourself, and if you're doing it the first time, I know the first time might seem a little bit intimidating. That's okay. I want you to get a bit of practice, create a few custom audience, and don't worry, you don't have to use all of them. You'll get better with practice. All right, so stay tuned for the next part of the training. We're not quite done yet. I'm going to show you how to do uh, simple, basic retargeting.